Ice racing has been a tradition on the Kenai Peninsula since Alaska's statehood was still in its infancy. In Kasilof, the Decanter Inn is home to decades of racing history. I actually have seen film taken on this lake from the early 60s on races, so 61 till 2019 is 58 years. Over time, the action hasn't slowed down one bit, keeping a steady, slippery pace somewhere around 40 miles per hour, depending on course conditions. I think it's great. I mean, it's it's something that they all started. It's like the Mount Marathon race in Seward. Uh, all of that stuff started over uh, somebody betting in a bar about I'm faster than you are, and same here. It all started the same way. Sharp turns and a slick track are guaranteed in the ice races. So of course, pileups are part of the deal. Thankfully, ice racing is an inexpensive hobby. Most of the cars sport makeshift armor, made with whatever scrap steel racers can find. Some drivers make modifications specifically for the ice, Others drive cars in the same shape that they found them in. And on occasion, the Peninsula Ice Racers go well into the night. All right, here we go, boys. 99 holding on to the lead, followed by 321. You could say the added challenge of driving in the darkness is all part of the fun. When you're out there like that, it's like uh, you have no you have no feeling except for what's on your outside, inside, or backside. It's called bumping and grinding. This is my first year officially ice racing. Who doesn't want to drive a truck that's this souped up with spiked tires on it? Club president Robert Chesley says the longevity of the Peninsula Ice Racing Association ultimately boils down to the fact that it's all just for fun. No racing for money, just points and bragging rights. There was a couple years the club ran downhill for a while. We only had two cars, three cars, but past couple of years we've been building it up slowly and surely. And now we have a good uh, rapport with everybody and everybody races clean now for the most part. <laughs> as clean as possible on a track made of ice and lined with snow. But those are the conditions that these racers prefer. Just right for gaining enough momentum to make those tricky turns and hopefully enough to carry them forward for 50 more years of racing. On the Kenai Peninsula, Hank Davis, Channel 2 News.